Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Not long ago, Jesse James Beads sent me some really pretty stuff. In fact, I'll leave a link to the unboxing at the end of this video so you can go check it out. But in addition to what they sent, they challenged me. They want me to make something to give to somebody. I don't know what that, well, I do know what I'm making, but I don't know who I'm giving it to. This video is all about what I'm making, so stay tuned. So one of the pieces I am going to be making with what I received from Jesse James Beads is a necklace. And I don't know who's getting it yet, but we have the Luna Moth and the chain. And then out of the Color Trends bead mix, I took two of the kind of denim blue crystals, two of the gray crystals. I'm using these two big spacer beads and two of the smaller spacer beads. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make these into some links. I've got 22 gauge wire for these. And the way I'm gonna make the links I'm putting the wire through there, like so. And let's see, how much am I going to measure? I'm going to measure from the, the hole there, it's about an inch and a half. Let's see, so I'm just going to clip that off. And twist the wire. And then I'm going to take round nose pliers and make a, a little loop. And tuck the wire in and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So basically we'll have just make sure these are the same length. It's a little bit too long there. That's good enough. Let me finish this up and clip and tuck those wires in. See how we have that? Now I'm going to do the same thing to this guy. And then I'm just going to make regular links with this using um, 20 gauge wire. Make a link like that. Hmm, let me see, how do I want this? Okay, I think I'm gonna put this link down on this end. So I can go ahead and wrap this. Make sure that wire is tucked in.
let's see. There we go. And I'm going to wrap that around and tuck her in, and then I'll do the other side. So we have that. And then I'm going to need to get a jump ring to hook it into the moth. And I've got them all done. Now for the chain. So I've got it all finished. What I did is I took two tiny little um, jump rings. I think they are four millimeter. And I connected the chain and the moth and I was going to connect it here but for a little added interest I made it where it was a little wider and as you notice there is no clasp so this is really easy to put on and take off and then of course I had to make a pair of earrings to match let me put this on and I'll show you what it looks like. And here's what it looks like on. Lots of bling and shininess to it. I love the sparkle. And the earrings are um, very petite, but yet you can see that little sparkle as they hang down and dangle off your ear. Now all I have to do is figure out who is going to get this. Hmm. I do have some other videos planned on some more things that I'll be making with the beads that I got from Jesse James. And uh, I already have ideas on where those items will be going, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me today, and y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, signing out for now. Bye-bye.